everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel, Booked Line and Sinker. Today I'm doing a standalone book review of the book, The Girl with Seven Names Escaped from North Korea by Hyun Seo Lee. I hope you can see this. The name is a little shiny. Okay, I've recently finished this book. It's literally shaken my foundations and I'm so excited and eager to share my thoughts on this because it's amazing. I bawled my eyes out when I finished it because the tension in the writing is so palpable and it I was literally holding on to it uh, through the course of this read and I had to let it out after I finished this book. If you're new to my channel, I'm Nimisha. I'm a voice artist and a book lover and on this channel we have inspiring conversations about books and all things related. I've been looking up my analytics and I want to thank you all for all the appreciation and the views that you've given me. It means so much to me. Please do subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos. Well, let's get into the review. Okay, so this book is the true story of Hyun Seo Lee, who is a 17 year old girl from North Korea. And she escapes into China and then eventually seeks asylum in uh, South Korea. At the onset, I want to say that I didn't have much information about North Korea except for the fact that it was being ruled by the Kim regime and also that uh, it was constantly in the line of fire by the Americans. I knew that it was a socialist state and that's about it. The story, the first half of the story is about her life in North Korea. Jun Seo Lee goes to great lengths to kind of give us uh, an insight into what it might be to be uh, a citizen of North Korea. Yoon Seo Lee comes from a class in North Korea which is fairly privileged and this privilege is defined by their political loyalty to the regime. In her household, there was never any shortage of food or any other requirement per se. So she was fairly shielded as a child. But in spite of that, there were a lot of events and situations which she witnessed in the country which uh, horrified her. For example, she saw her first public execution at the age of seven years. Uh, which was shocking to me. North Korea being such a close society, she did not have exposure to any other culture. So therefore, the propaganda which was being uh, pushed by the state was what she learned as a child. She talks about how the indoctrination of uh, the ideology of the regime starts so early at school. She also talks about a lack of trust and extreme suspicion which actually exists in the fabric of the society over there where there are informers everywhere, political informers and any incorrect step can get you into all sorts of trouble with the government. The book primarily touches upon communism and its link with human rights because Hyun Seo Lee feels that there has been a serious lack of human rights in North Korea. In the second half of the book Hyun Seo Lee escapes to China and that starts the second chapter in her life. The title of the book, The Girl with Seven Names, comes from the fact that she's had to hide her identity so many times and change her name um, that it's really unbelievable. In China, she's separated from her family, her brother and her mother for a period of nearly 10 years and um, that really, it really breaks your heart to think of how such a young girl uh, in China was all alone and, and she had to fend for herself and she did it with a lot of grit, a lot of determination and it's remarkable because at one time she is caught by the Chinese police, she's questioned by them, there is a fear shaking inside her and yet she manages to keep a mask in place and uh, gets out of that tight situation because if she had been caught she would obviously be sent back to North Korea and then what would happen you would never know. Once she's in South Korea she asks her mother and brother to join her there. That again is the story of a family who have to go through another long test of getting across from North Korea to South Korea via China and how they do it. Um, I don't want to give you any spoilers here but it was harrowing to read that. It was scary and it was full of tension. This book, it reads like a thriller. Literally on every page, 
there is some new insight that you will find in this book. It speaks not just about communism and capitalism or nationalism and the socialist doctrine. There is also conversation on refugees and asylum seekers or what it might be for a person to live in a certain manner and then having to adjust later on in life in a completely different world. Once in South Korea, Hyun Seo Lee did what she did best and which was to apply her mind and uh, come up with a uh, new direction for her life and she did that by joining university and she started speaking out about her life in North Korea and that's when she was invited to do a TED talk and that TED talk I've linked above you can have a look at it it's really remarkable how this woman has gone through so much and is still standing uh, strong. This is a must read book for all of us all of us who come from a fairly privileged and free society and uh, just you know I have a lot of gratitude for what I've got after reading this book. I hope you enjoyed today's video drop me a line in the comment section below and share with me which was a book that really impacted you about a different culture uh, just like the way this one has impacted me. The name of this book is there in the description box below so check it out. Like, share, comment, subscribe and follow me across social media because I take out a new video every week and you don't want to miss it. Until the next book, bye-bye.